the wake of the Human Genome Project, genetics, with all the tools and technologies it encompasses, has made the tremendous leap from the laboratory to the clinic. The charting of our collective genetic map has now become a highly personalized enterprise of diagnosing and treating genetic disorders, infectious diseases, and acquired diseases. At the fourth annual Genetics and Genomics virtual conference hosted by LabRoots, field experts discuss the technological innovations that are making this progression from biology to the clinic possible, as well as what those innovations mean for doctors and patients. Speaker Dr. Jonas Korlach, Chief Scientific Officer at Pacific Biosciences, describes new genome sequencing techniques that are now able to generate high-quality representations of personal genomes and transcriptomes. Although conventional sequencing techniques have generally become faster and cheaper, these techniques typically produce short stretches of genome sequences that are then stitched together using genome assembly software. The problem with using short reads of this kind is that long stretches of repetitive DNA, which are common in the human genome, are truncated by assembly software. This leads to gaps in the final genome that could hold important information about the presence of or potential for disease. In his talk, Dr. Korlach highlights how new long-read sequencing approaches are producing more complete, reference-free genomes for patients. As the speed, accuracy, and affordability of sequencing continue to increase, more people than ever are expected to have their genome sequenced. This trend is poised to provide researchers with an unprecedented wealth of information. But is it too much for them to handle? Speaker Dr. Alexander Waite Zaronik, chief scientist at Curiverse and a director of informatics at the Harvard Personal Genome Project, discusses the development of clinical quality applications for processing massive data sets spanning millions of individuals across many organizations. The capacity to sift through such large data sets will help identify genetic variations among individuals and thereby detect and diagnose diseases. With so many people contributing personal information to the universe of genomic data, the projected expansion of genome sequencing presents not only a technical problem, but an ethical one as well. Speaker Dr. Amy McGuire takes a step back and discusses two major ethical and policy issues associated with the clinical integration of genomics, the psychosocial risks of genomic testing, and the need for robust databases to ensure the accurate and useful interpretation of genetic variations. As the genomics and genetics landscape continues to expand, experts must address the growing set of challenges that come with it. At this year's Genetics and Genomics virtual conference, participants are invited to learn how these speakers and a host of other research scientists, postdocs, principal investigators, and lab directors are taking on those challenges to improve disease detection and treatment.